And if we look at the pi over 4 angle, and we know that pi over 4 radians is simply 45 degrees, then we can conclude that this angle up here is also pi over 4 radians, or as we know, this is 45 degrees, meaning that we have a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, another special right triangle. And if we say that the hypotenuse of this is R, then these two sides are equal since this is a isosceles triangle and we can solve for these sides, but it will be R divided by the square root of two. Or if we want, we can rationalize this denominator to be root two over two multiplied by R and it would be the same for this side since these are equal in a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Now applying our trig function definitions, we can look at the sine first, the sine of pi over four would be the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. We have root two over two r divided by r and the r's cancel out and we get the square root of two over two. But notice that the cosine of pi over four is also root two over two since the adjacent and the opposite sides are equal. So this is a case where sine and cosine are the exact same value, the square root of two over two. And when we look at the tangent of pi over four, it is the opposite divided by the adjacent. We have something divided by itself. And so everything will cancel out and this will be equal to one. So the tangent of pi over four is one and the sine and cosine of pi over four is the square root of two over two. And again, these conclusions come from the fact that a pi over four radian angle essentially just creates this 45, 45, 90 right triangle and we can use the properties of this triangle to determine each of the side lengths and look at these different trig functions.